Realtors, soccer moms, election losers, and Thad Snyder failed to help MyPillow CEO Mike Lindell to shock the world. And he's now blaming search engines for not getting the Elvis Aloha from Hawaii viewership he was chasing, and it's hilarious. Let's play it real quick. Okay. So gonna... I'm thinking number between one and two. What's that? I'm thinking of number between one and two. Pick it. One to what? Between one and two. One to what? <laughs> Don't tell me the odds. Hey. Go easy on Mike Pillow. He took calculus in the eighth grade. I told her about deviations. I told her about, uh, you know, I said I took calculus. I said I was a professional card counter for part of my career. And uh... that's why Donald Trump bankrupt his casino. Mike Lindell was counting cards for part of his career. It is pouring MAGA tears. The come and take it, don't tread on me, build the wall, let's go Brandon, lines not sheep, lock her up, F your feelings crowd, sure are having a spectacular MAGA tears meltdown over Biden's speech. Mike Lindell has convinced himself search engine suppression was the reason his dumpster fire blaze wasn't bigger, and I have a laugh with more wild clips from Tom Selleck's slow cousin's dental convention, Plus, I properly roast Dim Jr. and more of the latest and stupid and dig into the new details of the Mar-a-Lago investigation and more. The woman who tried to print Craigslist tweeted, I don't want a lecture from Joe Biden. I want an apology. Naturally, I replied, have you apologized to the neighbors for your dumb as a post drunk husband running over their mailboxes with his F-150 and trying to fight the entire street? We started hearing about different hope. This is the this is the Michigan lawsuit, correct? Georgia. Let's say you have a deck of cards, and then you have sixty per sixty of them are all um, red, and forty of them are blue. Now you shuffle the whole deck, and then in sequence you lay them out on the you lay them out on the table. Do you follow me? You never you don't know. You'll never know when they when they're coming in. Red, blue, red, blue, because it's all random. Did I say that very good? I think so, yeah. Okay. <laughs> good job. I was a card counter. I got her down. Okay. <laughs> Red and blue, 60 cards. I'm pretty confident that a standard deck of cards is 52. And yes, you can throw in two jokers and some commercial decks may even have up to six. But that's still not 60 and not what you would see at a table. Mike Lindell's only experience with cards is the one he got from his bail bondsman that he put in the spokes of his BMX front tire after he lost his driver's license for the fifth time. Details of the contents taken from Mar-a-Lago have been released, totaling over 10,000 documents, and over 100 were classified, and three classified documents were not located in boxes, but were located in desks. Visitors to Trump's office include QAnon Michael Flynn, Kyle Rittenhouse, and every Karen he met while getting an omelet. I think it would be terrific if you came to my office and I showed you some of my secret spy stuff and maybe my mushroom. The inventory shows that 43 empty folders with classified banners were taken from a box or container at the office, along with an additional 28 empty folders labeled as return to staff secretary or military aid. Empty folders of that nature were also found in a storage closet. All of the secret, top secret cover sheets in the FBI photo have the same classification heading. HCS-P slash SI slash TK. HCS-P equals intelligence product derived from sensitive human sources. SI equals special intelligence, aka signals intelligence, sensitive communications. TK equals talent keyhole talent keyhole aka secret intelligence from spy satellites and planes in october 2021 cia counterintelligence sent a top secret cable warning an unusually number of confidential informants were being killed captured or compromised in january 2021 trump stole top secret documents with intel on such informants um, um i bought adwords to get the word out for that summit and adwords on Google, Bing, Yahoo, and DuckDuck. All of them silenced me over the weekend. My bill would have been about, of course. My bill, yeah, my bill would have been about $50,000. It was less than $500. If you Googled Mike Lindell wow. or Open the Truth Summit, it was nothing on there. Google, Bing, Yahoo, and DuckDuck. It's not just that those other search engines 
even exist. It's that they all conspired to block the pillow manufacturer gone mad, according to the guy that calls himself a conspiracy theory or conspire a theorist. I can't keep up with it. I called up from Jim Akowska on down. I have about 200 journalists in my phone and I called him. I called him up. I said, hey, you guys, aren't you going to report anything? Aren't you going to report this? None of them would answer my call. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to let that go to voicemail and then never listen to the voicemail. Okay. They didn't take your call because you were holding an event with nonsense and the only experts you had were the ones on your payroll, whereas a real truth summit would have other experts with counter evidence. But since you didn't, the outside experts on Twitter destroyed the techno babble that may have fooled people like Thad Snyder. Uh, you know, I've heard my thin septum is like Charlie Sheen's. I'm sure this powder will be verified. I'm like a snowblower. I've always made the decision. Uh, when it came to my criticism of my droopy eye. Probably all of the interviews I've done over the last few years blasted like this. The war in search of Mar-a-Lago. We have them at Trump Tower at Bedminster. We have them in my bedroom. We have them in Eric's bedroom. We have them under Ivanka's pillow. I haven't been there. She won't let me. Totally holding me out. By the way, if Donald Trump was able to sleep with Ivanka, I don't know about you guys, but I'd have even more respect for him. Kidding, because Kushner won't play. You know, the guy doesn't share. Just him. Yep. You know, the fun bags, uh, all for himself versus me and Eric. The guys who really want it the most, uh, that got harder for me. Uh, but there's millions of dollars involved in selling out our spies, okay? Uh, he took the top secret documents and then we sold them to our enemies. But remember, Donald Trump can fill diapers. We need less pictures of documents to come out because our MAGA base responds to imagery. Melania's bedroom, nothing, not with him. When they see the top secret documents all over the disgusting carpet at Mar-a-Lago, and they might find out that, no, in fact, he is totally corrupt and a traitor. Guys, it's just like keeping a library book a little too long, so just let it go, man. Okay, so I do want to thank all my insurrection friends, all the peepholes in Ivanka's room keeping me sane. Again, only Kushner gets to tap that, and it's not fair at all. And I have been doing my own investigations, right? I knew it was the computers and machines, but then when I say they, it's uh, CCP, globalists, uniparty, now the things I know now that are behind all this, right? I really want to see Tom Selleck's slow cousin in Magnum P.I. for some of these investigations. If there ever was a potential for an opposite Sherlock Holmes, it's the guy who thinks the Terminator is a documentary. The Terminator, we look back, oh, that was a great movie in 1984. But there's a reason that they came back and the machines came back and tried to remember the story. You know, this isn't, this is, technology can be great, but if it's used for bad, you can, you can destroy millions of people. I don't think Mike remembers the story. And I gotta say that for all bargain bin Burt Reynolds speaks about the Terminator films, the Terminator himself, Arnold Schwarzenegger, does not speak kindly of Donald Trump and those who deny the results of a free and fair election. Those who know her tell CNN there would be nothing of Donald Trump's in Melania Trump's living quarters. Not only do the couple have separate bedrooms. Donald Trump's imported trophy wife hasn't shared a bed with him since Barron was made. And this is how the delusional far right networks are talking about the investigation. They went outside the four corners of what that warrant authorized them to do. This Including was Melania's closet. Right. And, right. and eventually there'll be, tr fo uh, you know, trophy photos will show up. We're going to find out that FBI agents are sitting there you know, holding up her lingerie or whatever. Mm -hmm. uh, and those, that, those photos will come out eventually. It might be, you know, 10 years from now, but they'll be out. The important A photo of an FBI agent holding up Melania's lingerie is the only way Donald Trump would ever see Melania's lingerie. Not just 1.2 million Americans were deplatformed on the January 6th, 7th and 8th, including our great president's Donald Trump Twitter account. You had people cancer pastors from around the world. You had people cancer pastors from around the world. Uncontrolled division of abnormal cells is plaguing grassy lands for grazing animals. Thank you, Tom Selleck, slow cousin. You guys, this is going to shock the world. You don't want to miss it. You don't want to miss it. And you share it and tell your friends and family not to miss it. And when you get there that day, consider it two work days, everybody. Okay, these will be your two work days. You sit there all day long and you watch. Well, it seems like this wasn't everybody's two work days, Mike. And the only people that watched, watched for the comedy and to expose you. 
God, all that you're doing in every state, these people that have been willing to uh, walk away from their jobs and, and give you their lives and give the time to you, God, in each state, God, to see that justice would prevail and righteousness, God. We praise you, God, that you have overturned Roe v. Wade. We worship you for that victory. The trust fund wannabe Scarface with capped teeth tweeted, Imagine what the media would do if Trump gave that speech about millions of Democrat voters. It really makes you realize how partisan and broken they are when watching them desperately run for cover for arguably the most device speech by American history. Naturally, I replied, the point of Diaper Don's caustic rallies are to grift off the back of the lies and division he creates. The most device speech I American history? The straw goes in the mouth, Dim Jr., not the nose. Save the last two cells rolling around your numbskull before it's too late. If you Google moment of truth over the weekend, you didn't find it. If you go, go if you Google my name, it would just show up my Wikipedia, which they they control my Wikipedia and they and they say Mike Liddell's a conspiracy theory. If nobody is looking for it, it's not going to rank in a search engine. You can't spend a year telling everyone that Facebook and Google are the enemy and to only use your dumpster fire website for information and then complain when you don't get the results you wanted. MAGA Tears. If I want comedy, I'll watch Gutfeld, thanks. MAGA Tears. Too embarrassed to comment on Biden's continued failures? MAGA tears. I will wave my flag and salute while you change your panty in confused gender bender restroom, soy boy Campbell. MAGA tears. When the evidence is released, you will be begging for givens. <laughs> MAGA tears. Thanks so much for watching. Help me out by sharing this video or posting it on your social media. It'll cost you nothing and makes a huge difference for me. If you can afford to, please hit the super thanks button or tip me via PayPal and be sure to check out my mugs and stickers that go great with those MAGA tears. I am a stand-up comedian. I've played in 35 countries. I've supported Jim Jeffries on five of his tours. I have three albums on Spotify and Apple Music. Be sure to check them out. Life's short. Be cool. Be kind. Take care.